home on a Saturday afternoon flipping channels and pumping iron comes on. Do you watch it? We watch some of it, yeah, because it's like, you know, to me it is probably as interesting as it is for everyone else because this was now we're talking about in the 45 years ago, right? So this is a long time ago and you kind of don't even know yourself anymore in what kind of a frame of mind you were at that time. It's like, it's so wild. You know, you, you see yourself with Franco, you see yourself with all the other competitors and uh, you see yourself competing and training in the gym and all that stuff. And uh, you wish you could go back to that state of mind so that you understand more of what you were all about at that time and what made you that hungry and what made you kind of be that relentless and all that. Uh, so it, it, it was, it's really interesting. I sometimes see, the, like the other day, I, uh, Predator came on. And, uh, and so I watched, the, I, I, I said to my girlfriend, I said, let's watch the beginning. She says, okay, I haven't seen it anyway. Let's watch it. And we ended up, we ended up watching the whole thing because it's still held up today. It's really amazing when you see some of those old movies. Other movies don't hold up, but I mean, a Predator or the first Terminator and movies like that, they really hold up today. And so it was really fun to watch this whole thing. And interesting enough, then they did some voiceover. A week later, I was asking the voiceover for a video game that is coming out of, uh, about Predator. And uh, so it was great that I watched it to get back into that mood again. And all that. And uh, Sergi was Mr. Olympia at that time. And uh, here was me coming over from Europe to beat him. Because that was my mission. Come over here to train with the American bodybuilders and to take his crown away. And he knew that. And uh, I learned so much from him, the way he trained. And how he totally disregarded certain sets. You know, when you ask him, he says, so how many sets do you do every day? And he said, man, I do around 25 sets you know, for biceps and 25 sets for triceps and 25 sets for adults and all that stuff. And he would give me the routine. And then I said to myself, but before we get to that, he had kind of this daily routine that he started his training with. And it was really odd. He would do like five sets of triple sets, bench press, chin-ups, and then bend over rowing. He would just go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And he would do five sets like that. And then he would do five sets of cable, kind of uh, lateral raises. Nothing too heavy, but I mean, also with the bench press, nothing heavy. Because he would go up to 315, and he would do these half reps like this, and he'd go from one to the next, but he would wipe you out in no time when he go from one to the next to the next, and do three sets in a row, and then he go right back again and do three sets in a row without stopping, he wouldn't stop. You know, and so it was very, and so he says, okay, so now you, you wiped out already, right, with this kind of a warm up routine. And then he says, okay, now let's start training. <laughs> and he would not count those sets. It was the crazy thing. So I said, wait a minute, we just did 10 sets of deltoids. And we did five sets of bench press and five sets of chin ups and five sets of bent over rowing with the T bar. And you don't count that? That's 25 <laughs> sets. He says, ah, baby, come on, let's go. You know? And then so we went on and we started with our regular routine. And so